Okay, now I'm doing Glenburn Township this week. Uh, making my way around. Uh, same as last week, I went out uh, one day ahead, uh, two days ago. Now this is the night before. I'm going out a little bit later at night uh, this time to try to get everything that was uh, put out at the last minute. Tomorrow is the actual pickup day. Uh, just wrapping up. Uh, it's about 7.30 at night. Uh, it was a pretty good van load there. Uh, there's still a lot of stuff I couldn't uh, fit. I could have gotten a lot more, but uh, that was about it. Now tomorrow I'll unload all this. Um, first I'll show the uh, clip from day one. Alright, first off, uh, a little uh, sand chair. A little bit uh, musty. I'm going to hopefully clean this up and be able to resell it. Uh, some carpet squares. Hoping to maybe use these on the basement steps. Uh, some fan blades. Uh, there's a fan that I got at the yard sale last year. Uh, it's missing one blade. I'm hoping maybe one of these blades will fit. Uh, bag full of uh, towels. You can use these as shop towels. I'll wash them up real good first before I use them. A uh, cut rack. And the uh, hooks are broken. So maybe find some replacement hooks. A vintage tennis racket, Wilson racket, and there's uh, some tennis player's name on here I don't recognize. But it's got a little bit of a warp to it. I don't know what I can do about that. And a uh, wooden stool. I've needed a uh, shop stool for a long time. That'll be great in the shop. Oh, a little box of uh, nuts and bolts here. Just add that to my uh, miscellaneous nuts and bolts. And lastly, a director's chair that's missing the seat and back. Hopefully maybe to sell this uh, for frame only. We'll start right here. Uh, nice office chair. I'm going to use this uh, down in the basement or up in the shop somewhere. Uh, about a month ago, uh, I found another office chair uh, picking trash in a neighboring town. Uh, I'll, I'll include a clip of that right now. Uh, okay, I was looking around for a chair uh, for working down in the basement. Um, this has some peeling leather on it, uh, but it's very, very comfortable. This is a nice one without arms. I can use this somewhere down the basement or up in the shop somewhere. Just needs a good cleaning. Uh, more tubs. Now here's one with a lid. And another nice uh, flat one. This one doesn't have the wheels on it. 
This one will fit on a shelf better. Uh, more lids. I'm hoping these fit some of the tubs that I have that don't have lids. Uh, there were dozens more lids out there uh, last night. I just couldn't take them all. So I grabbed the ones that were uh, looked like the best ones. Uh, another little sand chair. There's several more uh, aluminum chairs uh, sitting out. Uh, last week and this week. Uh, so this is uh, a nice one. A little faded. Uh, the webbing's in good shape. Just a little bit of minor corrosion. Now the other ones that were uh, sitting out were all corroded. Uh, all the hardware was completely corroded. So those were no good. But this is a decent one. Box of uh, casters, some sofa casters. Just uh, stick those in my uh, caster bin. And it's uh, raining outside, so I have to bring uh, some of the stuff inside here to show it. Um, all these lamps, uh, these are a 1980s era lamp. It's hard to believe that somebody would throw these out. But the lamps are junk. Uh, I'm going to salvage all of the uh, sockets. are all in great shape here. And I'll pull all the cords out and just uh, junk the lamps. So there's some great lamp hardware right there. Uh, here's a box of uh, vintage wallpaper. Uh, there's some nice vintage wallpaper in here. I already have some listed on eBay. It's a little bit of a slow sell, but if somebody's looking for a particular uh, pattern of wallpaper, uh, possibly even for a small project, um, you can list some of that. Uh, one full can of uh, metallic uh, paint and primer. Uh, vintage steam iron. Okay, right here we have two folding tables. Oddly enough, these were the first two stops that I made. These are two different houses. All of the uh, hardware looks good on it. The tops don't look too bad. Now, last year at the Glenburn Township cleanup, I found another uh, folding table. I'll insert a clip of that here. And over here I have a folding uh, metal table. Uh, it's quite rusty, but I was looking for an extra table for the uh, finishing room, so this will work. I have to put a new top on it. The top is all warped and, ro and uh, rotted. All right, here's that same table now. I actually uh, took all the hardware off, um, ended up stretching the table to eight feet, and made a new top, and uh, infilled the missing rails with some wooden rails. I cleaned all the hardware and repainted. made a pine frame to make a lightweight top with a quarter inch plywood top on it. And I've already used this at two antique shows. Here's another uh, fluorescent light fixture. Once again, I'll have to test this and make sure it works. Uh, the one that I found last week, the long 8-foot one, uh, does work. And uh, if you recall, I said it uh, might fit those uh, reflectors, and uh, they will work. So I have to just uh, build that lamp and uh, set it up somewhere. I don't know where I'm going to put it uh, yet. Okay, here's a nice mahogany mirror.
This just needs a little cleaning. Here are the uh, lampshades that go with those lamps out in the other room there. These I don't think I'm going to do anything with. I just grabbed them. I didn't know. They're just a little too, uh, a little too big. I don't think they'll uh, fit any style of lamp that I have. So I'm just going to donate these. Oh, and I almost forgot. I had to run out to the van to get this. A vintage ITT telephone. Looks like it's in really good shape. I've got a few of these listed on uh, e both Etsy and eBay already. Once again, this will need testing. Um, even if it doesn't uh, work, uh, it can still be sold as a, a stage prop or a decorative item. And this needs just a really good cleaning. Uh, the value on this is uh, 35 to 45, somewhere in that range. Okay, I got the uh, tables out here. I can wash them off good. I got a little bit of uh, mildew on the bottom, so I got them all cleaned up. And I'll store these away and find a use for them at a later date. Okay, that's going to close it out for the uh, Glenburn cleanup and the uh, town cleanups for this year. Uh, it was just uh, tons more stuff I could have gotten. Uh, just simply can't take it all. And once again, this year, uh, kind of staying away from furniture. Uh, there's just simply no market for furniture. Uh, there was a few pieces of furniture sitting out there. I just had to uh, turn them down. It was unfortunate. Uh, still going to be doing uh, state sales and yard sales and a little bit of uh, trash picking throughout the summer. Unfortunately, I uh, just simply don't have time to uh, do videos every week. So I probably won't be doing very many uh, picking videos uh, the rest of the year. So that uh, closes it out, and I'll uh, see you next time.